It's interesting how things that despite being so different can share names. In language terms, these are called homonyms. A homonym is specifically where the words are pronounced and written the same but have different meanings, as opposed to homophones that sound the same but are spelt differently and have different meanings, and homographs which are spelt the same but have different pronunciations and different meanings. Anyway, today we are looking at those first ones, homonyms. Some interesting examples are bark, as in the thing on trees, and the thing that comes out of a dog's mouth band as in a group of musicians and a ring, usually made of rubber, and a dress which is someone's location and the act of talking to a lot of people. However, one of the most interesting ones, and the one we are looking at today, has to be the name that is shared between two of the most opposing things, the name that links one of the biggest, most populated and powerful countries in the world, and a delicate little material used to make teacups, saucers and little dolls, that of course being China. So why on earth are these two things even called China? Well, let's start with that material first which despite being so well known as China, isn't actually called China. That's a more colloquial term for the stuff. It became known as China due to the fact that it first came to the Europeans from their discovery of the material in China. They were amazed by the stuff, never seeing anything like it before. It was imported in the droves to Europe, where it became known as Chinaware, which it is still known as today, and eventually that was just shortened to China. So if China is just one name for the material, what is it actually called? Well it goes by another name you've probably heard of, porcelain. This name of porcelain has a pretty interesting story too. When the Europeans discovered China, the material not the country, they wanted to make it themselves as opposed to importing it all the way from the country. That's why this name of porcelain is of European origin, not Asian origin. Not that the word China is actually Asian, we'll, we'll get onto that in a bit. Porcelain comes from the Italian porcellana and means cowry shell, with the cowry being a type of sea snail. The material is named after the shell of this marine mollusk as their shells have a pretty similar look and texture to the material from China. This Italian name of porcellana is believed to come from the Italian porcella, which means young sow slash pig, and is thought to be because the shell looks somewhat like the private area of a female pig. I mean, I see what they're getting at, I googled it and yeah, they look similar but I'm not drawing that. Anyway, if the material was named after the fact that it was imported from China, then how did the country of China end up with that name? We aren't too sure from where exactly this name comes from, but we have a couple ideas. One of interest is the idea that it comes from a Sanskrit word, which means country to the east of India, which makes logical sense as China is east to India. Yet the more popular idea is that the name derives from the name of one of the dynasties of ancient China, the Qin dynasty. Although this dynasty didn't actually last that long, only lasting between two 221 to 206 BCE, its rule had a huge impact on the history of the country. It was during this time that the seven kingdoms that clustered around what is now eastern China weren't too happy with one another. It was the Qin dynasty who came out victorious to unify the kingdoms. It's from this dynasty it's believed the name China is thought to derive from and became the name for the nation in the west. And yes, China is only the name for the country in English, and variations of that name appear in other languages. Despite how well known this name is, the around 1.4 billion people of the nation of China most likely don't use the name China, they use the native name for the country, Zhongguo. Huge apologies if I mispronounce that awfully, there'll be pronunciation sources down below. This name derives from a dynasty that ruled China even before the Qin, the Zhao dynasty. The name is thought to mean middle slash central realm slash country due to the traditional belief that this part of the world was the centre and most civilised part of the entire planet, and things only got more uncivilised the further away you got from it. Though to call this early version of China a country in the sense we think of a country today is a whole different subject. Zinnaf's video on the matter is far better than anything I could conjure up. Anyway, aside from the country called China that's actually called Zhongguo and the material called China that is actually called porcelain, we have something else that sort of goes by the name China, that of course being the island nation of Taiwan. Officially in English, these two places are called the Republic of China and the People's Republic of China. This is a huge, somewhat complicated topic, perhaps out of the realms of this video. Maybe a why does Taiwan call itself China video could happen one day, if you guys want it. But regardless, it's another thing that is called China when perhaps it might not ought to be called China. There was even a wrestler called China, but she was actually called Joan Lawler. Man, is there anything actually called China? Regardless, China was suggested by Kenneth Xingping, sorry if I mispronounced that, and Grey Computer on Patreon, and thanks to their suggestion, they will now be honoured as Name Explains Patron Saints of China. If you want to become a Name Explained Patreon Saint, then why not support the channel on Patreon? Just a dollar and up earns you the chance to suggest a country or geographical location on the Wednesday Patron Saint Suggestions post for the next 
next Patron Saint video. And of course my book, The Origin of Names, Words and Everything in Between is now out. It's a celebration of all things etymology and explains the names of things across a huge variety of topics. Treat yourself to it and it could even make a great gift for the etymology fanatic in your life. If you love the channel then you will love this book. Links to buy the book from Amazon will be down below. And of course, thank you to all my patrons. These Tuesday videos are able to exist solely because of all the awesome people who support Name Explained financially on Patreon. Name Explained depends on awesome people like yourself giving small monthly donations to the channel. If you enjoy these videos and want to be a greater part of our Name Explained community, then why not support the channel? Just $2 a month gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you.